So today's vlog is going to be like a chill, like girly vlog. I'm going to show you guys what I got from Marshalls and Ross. I found some more Barbie stuff. Excuse my nails because they're bogus. Now, I don't need the headband. I just wanted the mask. But for sure, I would use this mask. And I thought it was so cute. I got another Barbie hand cream set. This was $5.99. I really, really like this packaging. I just picked up a Barbie um hand cream set but that was in a black packaging i like this one better i did pick up this juicy couture pajama set i seen this juicy couture sleepwear in somebody's video and i was like oh i gotta have that y'all it feels so good it has like that towel kind of like fabric to it and it was only $16.99 i got it in the medium because i feel like juicy couture clothes or like pajama sets run really big and then the back Yeah, so I got this little juicy set. And then I did get a few other items. I did get these nails, which we will probably do in this video. So I did get these nails. These were $4.99. Oh, I got this brush. I didn't need it, but this is my favorite brush. You ever see this brush from Japunes? The Precision Baking Brush. It's only $3.99. I highly suggest picking it up. If you can tell, it's like slanted. This is the perfect brush to pack on matte eyeshadow. I also, I think this is the last thing. I picked up the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray. I got coconut water. This used to be all the rage. And I think that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Hey, my beauties. So, I just got home from work not too long ago. And um, I'm about to do my nails right quick. The nails I'm going to be using are from Kala. And I think I'm going to put these on. I kind of want to do short nails. I think like, um, like since I work with kids, I don't want to wear like my nails too long. But I would love to wear my nails long. But like since I work with kids, I don't want to be scratching them and poking them. But... I do have long nails in my collection. I just stay away from them because I work with kids. But you only live once. So they get scratched. They get scratched. No, I'm just playing. I'm going to wear my nails because I bought them. So, yeah. So this is getting on my nerves. Hold on. I got this big pimple on my forehead. So um, I got to get rid of that. All right. So I'm going to use this paper towel. All right, like I said, I'm going to use these nails right here. Make sure my titty's not showing. And I just like to roughen up my nails. I just push my cuticles back. I did um, call myself removing my cuticles a little bit. Child, sometimes the nail be crooked. And I just press down on it. you guys i'm done with my nails this one is crooked it's another one that's crooked but they're so long i wish they would short me they're cute i'm probably not gonna have them on too long because like i said i work with kids so i don't want to punch them not not punch them girl <laughs> I, I don't punch kids poke them girl but um i'm probably not gonna wear these again um some nails i will do that with like it's literally a one-time kind of wear kind of thing. I don't see myself going back to these. So I need to get this together because I don't have any more pimple patches. So I'm going to have to put a hot towel on there. My cycle is coming. So it's just looking at y'all. Just got out the shower. Um, excuse my background. Well, it's just my closet is just open. Um, that's pretty much it. I need to clean my mirror. Oh my god, what? 
I want to give you guys a quick vanity tour because I switched everything around. I put my vanity mirror back on my vanity area. I smell so good right now. Like, this is crazy. I got a bad habit of, like, sticking to one lotion. And I hate that I do that. I'm like, I got more than one lotion. Now, body sprays and perfume, I will use the different body sprays and mix and match. But when it comes to lotion, I always stick to one lotion until I'm done. Is anybody else like that? I don't know. I just feel weird about having a whole bunch of lotions open. I picked this up from Bath & Body Works a while ago. I think this is better than lavender and vanilla. This lavender and iris smells so good. This is the lotion that I have on, and then I have it paired with the Kenneth Cole um, blush. I know a few of you all were telling me that it is a perfume, and some of you all own the perfume. I do want to find the perfume, but this smells so good. I feel like you don't need no perfume or body spray with this because it's already loud in itself. I have on the Juicy Couture PJs that I showed you guys in the beginning of the um vlog they're super cute i didn't even notice that it said jc right there so those are the pajamas but they're so so cute and then it just says a juicy on the back i don't know you guys can you see i'm struggling girl i don't know if you can see it or not but yeah says juicy on the back so let me give you guys a quick tour of my vanity so just an overall look you guys have seen it like this before this right here this little system that i got this is new i just picked this up from ross that's much better you can see everything up here i just have like makeup brushes and some random stuff back there and at the bottom i have all of my foundations in this container and then i have all of my setting sprays and then down here i got all of my concealers which we're gonna go through and declutter and then those are all of my primers back there and then those are all of my face powders and then here are my this is just my fan but then here are my um, setting powders. I did go through this already. And so I don't really need to declutter this with you all. I wish I can place this forward. I think it'll look better and I will have more room. But my bed pole on the headboard. If I can move my bed over a few more inches. But I can't. <laughs> so it has to be like that. Now here I just have my candles. My stool and then... I just have my bigger acrylic organizer stacked on top. Here I just have like my blushes and it's not organized. I just needed to place everything in here. Y'all know I did a declutter so I will organize that soon. And all of my lashes. My top drawer is my eye only lashes. It's like two layers. And you know what? Somebody comment on one of my videos. It was a short videos I did. And they had the nerve to tell me that I was annoying and selfish for having all of these lashes. I was like, what? And I think they said something like leave some for others or something about I can't find them or something they were saying. I don't know. Guess what, honey? You got blocked. Because who are you talking to? And second of all, I don't buy, like, this is all collective. Everything that I buy is all collective. How you gonna get mad at me because your Dollar Tree don't have Ioni lashes? Like, girl, if you don't get somewhere to sit down. I'm like, selfish? This is my money, okay? My collection. Like, because I promise you, because if you find them, you're gonna buy more than one as well. So, what are you talking about? Girl, she got blocked real quick. But yeah, I got a mixture of lashes in there and then some more. I know I got a lot. <laughs> y'all probably like, girl, I got a lot. Like, I could literally sell some of these to y'all, but I love eyelashes. But I do plan on going through and declutter. This is my shop, my stash. 
eyeshadow palette drawer and i could just show you guys the palettes real quick i got these two palettes in here these are from cara beauty to me i feel like these are like more like fall colors but i'm like that's what kind of mood i'm in i'm ready for fall because but then i'm gonna be like oh i miss summer i think because it's been raining i'm just not i don't know anyways this is the moonlight child palette this is from cara beauty the colors in here like this one look at that blue like stop playing with them like both of these palettes scream fall so y'all my last shot my stash eyeshadow palettes i had them in here for four months i was so proud of myself and those were the only palettes that i was reaching for when i tell you i haven't opened my eyeshadow palette drawers in a few months I'm like, oh my God, I forgot I had eyeshadow palettes like, cause I was only using what was in this drawer. I was like, I need to switch this out. So that's what I did. Um, I have the Frosted Flakes palette in here. How you open this? No, for real. How did I open this? Oh, oh. I want to keep the box as long as possible. Yeah, so I want to play around with this. I love blue eyeshadow, so I definitely want to give that a go. I found this at Marshall's or TJ Maxx or something. Ugh, get in the box. I want to try out this Chucky palette from Glam Light. Like, oh, look, look at it, yes, ma'am. Perfect. So pretty. They need to do a part two. I feel like they probably will. They need to do Michael Myers. Like, what y'all doing? Girl, if they do that, I'm going to lose it. I'm buying everything. Then I um, I tried the Tarte palette. This was in my first Shop My Stash. And I tried, I think, one or two colors in here. I was like, wait a minute. This is kind of cute. So I kept it in here. So I'm going to keep playing around with this. So in my Shop My Stash, this is from, I think they changed their name though, but this is from a brand called Creative Soul. I don't know. I could be tweaking or thinking of something else. This is their um, Slasher palette. I just, I, I have it always on my vanity. I just can't push myself to use it. I don't know, but whenever I use it, I'm probably going to post it on my other channel. But y'all know I love Halloween, so I got to have some sort of palette like that. And then I got this palette from this brand called um, Glamier. I guess that's how you pronounce it. This is their Desert Sunset palette. And it's so pretty. And I have the Norvina palettes. I haven't tried these yet. So this is volume three. But since it's summer, I decided to whip it out. And this one is volume two, Unearthly Cosmetics, the Warms My Blood palette. I think they, last time I heard that they still sell this palette, but they don't sell this packaging. So I don't know. I'm not sure. But I've been wearing this palette. You guys have seen this on my eyes plenty of times. I mean, I didn't tell you guys what was on my eyes, but that's what I've been wearing this or the beauty bay palette these are my makeup bags that are on my um what is this called on my vanity so yeah these are the two makeup bags i have so i decided to keep it um the mickey mouse uh the mini mouse bag from cream shop i didn't finish filling it up but i decided to put my go-to like products in here so i didn't finish filling it up so that's what it's looking like and then this Juicy Couture makeup bag. This is my, this is going to be like my neutral go-to palettes kind of thing. And these are the ones I have in here for now. This one is always going to be on my vanity. The Wet n Wild in Love with Coco palette. These ColourPop palettes. I love these little ColourPop palettes. This one is, wait, what is, this one is my favorite. They don't sell these no more, which is stupid. But Down to Earth. Wait, is this the one? Yeah, it's the one because it's broke. This one is my favorite. And then I just have these other two, like, beautiful. I decided to put the Makeup by Mario in here. I'm, I still want to try the Huda Beauty Matte Palette. 
the plastic boy I like this palette so this is basically like my neutrals go to everyday kind of thing my Dior palettes those are always going to stay on my vanity because I just like them I like the aesthetic and then this one is my favorite from Magic Collection love it it's a it's like a dupe for a Huda Beauty palette these are actually these are actually for your face but I'm going to use them as eyeshadows so I wanted to try those out and then I also wanted to get some more use out of my Stila products. So to put a few colors in my makeup bag. And then my Natasha Denona. This probably will always, hey y'all. <laughs> this will probably always be on my vanity too. Over here I have my makeup sponges in that little container. Y'all seen that? My, ooh, what the hell? Okay, don't look at that. Just the eyeshadow palette I just got. Just some decor. Oh my god. Like it's just worse. The light is making it worse. And I got some Windex right here. I do try to keep some Windex because my mirrors get dirty. So these are just like some travel little um, thingies from Dollar Tree. And I just refill them. So this is alcohol Windex. And then I have another one in here that I use for my my. Oh now it's open. Kind of. Micellar water. So yeah, none of this stuff is like really organized. And then I just got single eyeshadows in there. These are all of my lip liners, which I got to go through. Eyebrow stuff. What is this? Um, pigments in here. This is just some random stuff. Some more eyebrow stuff. Some more makeup brushes. And then you all seen this. Um, this is my baby. This is where all of my lip products live. My liquid lipsticks. Um, these are proper beauty lipsticks. And I have MAC in here. Um, I got a little bit of everything. Drugstore, beauty supply, Juvia's Place. Just a little bit of everything in here. Was that a lip gloss? Why? Okay, I got some more lip products, just a whole bunch of lip glosses. I need to use these um, GIF lip glosses. I need to use those. And then I got some more, and I can't really open that top drawer. This one is, has all of my NYX products in here, and just some little tiny glosses or whatever. What is going on? It looks junky. But if I remember, <clears throat> if I remember, I will leave the video link down below so you guys can look at it if you're new. If you want to see me organize and put this stuff away. And I can't really show you guys this because my coffee shelf is in the way. But I just have Fenty and Maybelline lifter glosses. And like I said, my brush is up there. But yeah, that is my vanity. Um, I'm just going to put this back because I guess I find somewhere to put it, child. Oh, and these are my roses from Rose Forever. So that's my vanity tour. And I do have a little makeup haul that I can show y'all. But yeah, that's my vanity. Um, I just, y'all, I decluttered a lot of stuff. And I switched around some things. And it still looked like I didn't declutter nothing. I'm like, what the hell? Pick this up, I think Sunday. I picked this up from Target. They had a bunch of these in stock. The e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder Puff. And, um, I don't need it because I got plenty of these little puffs. But I just wanted to try it because people be thinking about it. So I was like, whatever. Oh. Anyways, let me show you guys what I got from... ColourPop, I already um, opened some of this stuff. So, I'm going to show y'all really quickly. <clears throat> I only got three eyeshadow palettes. So, I ordered the Snow White palette. I haven't ordered off of ColourPop in a long time. But I wanted this palette so bad. Because I just thought it was so cute. This is so cute. I can't wait to use that one. Like, that's pretty. I don't want to swatch anything because I don't feel like 
wipe wipe in my hands or anything but then I got the flirty talk palette it's so cute I wanted this one as well I think, I think they had a sale because that's the only reason why I would have purchased anything this is cute that's what it looks like it's um the camera is kind of washing it out but oh well And then I just went ahead. I should have waited until it went on sale. But I just went ahead and got the Smoking Hot palette. This is the newest palette. Um, their big, like, mega palette that they came out with. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, these nails probably going to be off before Saturday because I don't mind the length. It's the white part that's, like, it looks too fake like fake you know what I mean all right so here oop, here's the palette this looked better online and then it looks better in people's videos and then when I got it I was like what ain't nothing smoking hot about this palette where are the reds where are the orange shades I feel like every time ColourPop makes a mega palette, like, not all of them are bad, but I feel like they be missing the mark as well. Like, they just love neutral colors, I guess. I feel like they be afraid to go all out. Like, this should have been, like, smoking hot. I want to see some hot colors. I want to see some burgundies, red, orange, some burnt brown colors, burnt orange I don't really see none of that in here but it's still a pretty palette i'm still going to use it and let me know if you like chill videos like this i could do more um for sure anyways i will talk to you guys in another video if you guys are new here make sure you guys comment down below thumbs up and subscribe and i will talk to you guys later bye